Hey there and welcome back. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can integrate Tailwind CSS in your existing payload project. Now, all credits go to Paul from Nuance.io who actually created this blog article a while ago um, that this tutorial is based on. We're going to start in our existing code base from the payload Next.js tutorial. The first thing that I'm going to do is create a custom component that uses some Tailwind styles just to show you how it currently looks. For that, I'm going to create a new folder called components. In that, I'm going to create the UI folder. And in that, I'm going to say custom before dashboard. So this will be nothing special. It will just say, hey, this is a Tailwind component and I'm going to use the Tailwind utility classes. So I'm going to give it a padding of 20, 40, background green, 100, text will be green, 500, make it medium. That should do the trick. So. Now we just have to add this as a custom component in payload. For that, we're going to go to our payload config file. And under admin, we're going to create a custom component by adding components before dashboard and specify our custom before dashboard component within an array. This is important because you can actually add multiple custom components here. Now, if we go ahead and restart our server, this custom component should actually show up at the top of our dashboard. So if we check it out, reload our page, it shows up right here. However, as you can see, it doesn't have any background color. It doesn't have any padding or text color, just the default one. So as you can see, the Tailwind styles are not applied. So the first thing that we are going to do to set up Tailwind is install a bunch of libraries. For this, I'm going back into our terminal and I'm pasting this command here, which installs Tailwind CSS, auto prefixer, CSS loader, post CSS, and the post CSS loader. You can find this exact command in the blog article, which I will link to down below. Now, I'm just going to click enter to install it. This will probably take a couple of seconds. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to say npm, sorry, npx. You could also add, uh, use yarn if you prefer yarn, npx tailwind css init. So as you can see, this created a tailwind config file, which we're now going to adjust. So the first thing that I'm going to add is important, oh, sorry, important set to true. This will make sure that all Tailwind styles are actually set as important, which means that they can overwrite the default styling. You might have to play around a little bit with this. Um, the basic issue when you want to integrate Tailwind CSS with payload is that payload has its own styling, but you want to override it. So sometimes this causes some issues. Um, this has helped for us. The second thing that we're going to do is we're going to enable the dark mode by setting this command. So I'm going to say dark mode is basically when there is this data theme set to dark. The way that payload sets the dark mode is by adding this attribute in the DOM. So this will actually let you use Tailwind CSS classes like, for example, dark, and then set the background color to, I don't know, blue 500. The next thing that I'm going to add in the content is the actual source paths. So for me, what we like to do is just use basically every single file in the source folder. 
the way that this works is for every file that is included in here. So if you if you're not using TypeScript or you're not using JavaScript, you might just uh, remove the JS or JSX or TS or TSX extensions. But those are the files that um, Tailwind will actually scan for Tailwind classes. So if you don't have this set up correctly, your styles won't be applied. Now, apart from that, what we're going to add as well is we're going to disable the pre-flight check, which is another thing that is um, causing problems with the overwriting of styles. And last but not least, we're going to add the block list table class. Um, because we have noticed that if you don't block the table class by default, Tailwind CSS actually changes the way how the tables are styled and displayed in Payload CSS, and this has caused a lot of issues for us. Um, as I've said, you might want to play around with those settings a little bit, depending on your exact requirements. After we've set up this file, we're now going to create a new file in our root folder, which I will call Tailwind CSS, sorry, Tailwind.css. This is a basic CSS file. And in this, you might have seen those three lines of code. We're going to import the basic Tailwind components. However, what we're going to leave out are the base components. Because again, here, issues with overwriting styles. Next up, we're going to create another file, which is called postcss.config dot js and this is and this is where we're just going to paste a very simple code we basically export a plugins attribute with tailwind css and auto prefixer now the last thing that we have to adjust is our payload config file so there is the option that you can actually compile those classes manually using the cli but this is really not very um, convenient in your daily use because you want to update the classes that Tailwind uses automatically. So in order to do that, we will have to add this to our Webpack config. Um, I'm going to paste this code snippet in here, but you can also find it in the blog article. What this does is it basically checks for our payload, uh, sorry, not payload, our Tailwind file and uses the CSS loader, post CSS loader to actually load this in. And in addition to that, we are now going to add our CSS file. So in payload, you can actually specify a custom CSS file where you can add your own classes. So in this case, we're going to add our Tailwind CSS file, which is in here. So the source folder, which is just one folder up of the payload config file. That's why we have to put those two dots in here. Now, as I've said, if you want to add your own custom CSS classes, you can do this in this Tailwind CSS file. You could also rename this. If you add your own classes, it probably doesn't make sense to call it just Tailwind CSS, but um, that is not too important. So now if we go ahead and do npm run dev, to restart our development server. We should now not only see our custom component, but we should actually see our Tailwind CSS classes applied as well. Yeah, and as you can see, now the padding is working, the font is medium, we have our green background, so everything seems all right. Now let's just go ahead and test the dark mode real quick going to hit save, um, go back to the dashboard. Yeah, and now you can see the color change to blue. So the dark mode is working as expected. If you do have any questions, let us know down in the comments. And apart from that, take care and see you in the next video.